Posse. My name is Will, and welcome to another review here on Alpha Omega Wolf Productions. So uh, we are going back into Godfather a month by reviewing The Godfather Part 2. Um, and unfortunately, there's a bit of a hiccup in our little uh, Zoom meeting. We can't see Jessup, but we can still hear him. Jessup, you want to say hey, everybody. Hello? Um, also, it's kind of a good thing that this is going on since I am in the middle of a moving process. Um, I have not showered. I am very stinky. I do not look good at all. So it's kind of a silver lining right now. Okay, that's fair. So this is the sequel to the uh, Smash It, which uh, honestly, after the first one, I didn't know uh, a sequel was completely needed, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, but, but, in, but in this movie, we follow Al Pacino once again playing uh, Michael as he is trying to expand uh, the family business throughout the entire country. So first of all, if you thought The Godfather was long with a nearly three hour runtime, try oh. slapping the 20, 30 extra minutes on there. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. full disclosure, I did not like this one. Really? Yeah, I, I think it was mostly just the environment. I was tired from the move. I was on an uncomfortable mattress because I had to watch on my computer in my uh, on a bed. Um, so I'm mostly blaming the environment, but but still, it I. I I just felt it was long. Um, and also one thing I realized it doesn't have that the first one has is those me memorable lines. Yeah, and and don't get me wrong. I think I like it more than uh, you did because there's usually a rare sequence, a rare moment where the sequel is better than the first one. I think it's right up there with the first one, I think. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's bad. It, I just couldn't get into it. Right, because uh, like we said, this movie is extremely bloated with the runtime. Oh my gosh. Like, I, I will say, I think I like the first one better. Yeah, I think that's uh, fair. Because, you know, we had a lot of memorable moments there. We had a lot of memorable lines, so some great music. And, th here, and there's a couple here. They're just so few and far between. I, I can only think of two really memorable moments. Yeah, same here. And uh, we actually have uh, quite a bit of an extra cast here compared to the uh, first one. And hold on a second, I'm going to pull it up real quick. Yeah, this one um, this one uh, has um, jumps back and forth between um, Pacino's character and, and um, Brando's and version of Brando's character, who's played by Robert De Niro. Mm -hmm. so you guys yeah, see and we, we love Robert De Niro, even though he seems like he doesn't have he didn't have the best of luck when it comes to uh, some other movies oh i love robert de niro too he's a great actor uh, we also have robert duvall we have diane keaton reprising her role as k from the last movie Makes i sense mean this was two years after the first one yeah and the weird part is that while we did like uh, this uh, movie and even though there are some parts we didn't like um this actually ended up making history by becoming the first sequel to ever win the Oscar for Best Picture. It can, sure, it can have that. I mean, I, I think this was more movie meant for its time, so I'm, I'm not trying to judge it too harshly, you know what I mean? No, I get it, I get it. Yeah. No, and uh, I think I also like the uh, conflict that happens within the uh, family business, uh, and uh, I wouldn't go and say it's uh, so much a mystery, but it's like, you know, trying to uh, resolve this conflict from uh, within by uh, taking out uh, the threat. Yeah. Something else I was, I was thinking about this just now, Will. Yeah. Uh, I'm just throwing it in this, in, uh, I'm, I can't speak. I just want to throw this in here kind of randomly just so it's um, out there because I just thought of this, okay? Sure, go ahead. So um, there's this YouTuber Will and I watch a lot. Um, who, and a while back, he did this video where he did looked at the top 10 best movie sequels of all time. He put um, Godfather Part 2 at number 2. But he put The Empire Strikes Back at number 1. And he explains his reasoning. It's because The Godfather only had to appease adults, while The Empire Strikes Back had to appease um, adults and kids. And th th that's a fair analysis. I mean, I'm guessing Godfather's seen as the better movie overall, but between that and Empire Strikes Back. But he said, and I like this, if Godfather Part 2 is wine, then Empire Strikes Back is water, because everyone drinks water, while very yeah. few people drink wine. Mm -hmm. 
and if you know me well, I don't drink wine. So in a way, this is me trying to drink wine. Yeah, I'd say uh, in terms of uh, layout, I'd say Godfather Part Two is more sophisticated compared to Empire Strikes Back, if you know, understand what I mean, right, Jessup? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to throw that in there just because I just thought of that as we were filming this. No, I, I actually like that analysis uh, quite a bit. And you know um, who I'm talking about too, Will, who said this, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess we could say this goes up as one of the better uh, sequels out there, wouldn't you think? Like I said, I didn't get into it just because of the environment, because of the bloated runtime. Yeah, so, so we, we'd say, it, I'd say, try to chop this up into different uh, viewings. Like, I did it for an hour each viewing. No, I, I, I had to, I was trying to binge it all one night, and I just, and I, Get, when I got to the intermission, I just turned it off for the night, then finished the rest of it this morning. No, that's uh, understandable. Um, but yeah, no, we liked it. Not crazy about it, but we think I'm we're... starting to feel Godfather Month was a mistake. No, it's okay. It's okay. We learn from our mistakes. Yes. Um, so uh, next week, we're going to be wrapping up Godfather Month with The Godfather Part 3. And one quick what just a second i'm gonna see if uh, this is any shorter please be shorter if it's not we're gonna have to do this uh, again where we watch it on our own time i've heard it's actually considered the worst of the godfather movies okay so it's a little bit shorter but not by much it's two hours and 42 minutes i say we still riff it all right sounds good yeah so that's all, right. all right sorry what was that jessup I have heard that this third one is like actually bad. I'm kind of hoping because the others are so slow paced that I'll actually get into this third one. I'm kind of hoping. Yeah, even though it's still pretty long. Yeah. So that just about does it for this review. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe for more content. We will see you next week for the last week of Godfather Months. And we will see you later next week, Posse.